Hey guys, welcome to the next segment of 7 Minutes with Seema. I'm really excited to go through this uh, flow with you. I designed it for external rotation of the shoulders. So this is great for people who sit at a desk or CrossFit or even bikers. You're doing a lot of internal rotation. I notice in my own body that when I'm asking myself to open my shoulders that I lose the integrity of the belly. So I'm going to take you through a series of segments where you have to keep your core intact. Um, so just be aware that as you open your shoulders, you still have to keep the integrity of the belly. I'll cue for that as well, but I'm really here, I really want this segment to open both your shoulders and work your core at the same time. So anyways, let's just get moving. Go ahead and come into downward facing dog. Once you get there, pedal your feet, shake your head, shift enough side to side that the hands lift, and then inhale, roll forward to a plank pose. Stay there, breathing deep. Really spread your fingers nice and wide. Imagine a block between your forearms and hug in there. And then I want you to pull your sit bones down towards your heels. So you're lengthening through the, the back of the body as well. And imagine a block right between your thighs. And then from here, lift your tailbone up toward the ceiling, pushing back downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot right between your hands. Drop your back knee down and then interlace your hands. Take your interlaced hands and press them toward the ceiling. Draw your arms back and try to get your arms so that they're behind your ears. You're really pushing your chest forward here. Press them to the, to the top of your left foot and send your hips forward. So just breathing right into the shoulders, right? Just starting off from the beginning, getting right on into it. And then from here, exhale, take your hands down. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Exhale, step it between your hands. Drop your back knee down, and then reach your arms up. Interlace your hands, press the palms to the ceiling, and same thing here. Press into the top of your right foot, and send your hips forward, so you're opening up through the hip flexor. As you reach the palms of the hand toward the ceiling, drag your shoulders down away from your ears, and pull your arms to the back of the room. So you're really working on opening here. Great. One more big breath in. And then exhale, take your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. And again, pedal the feet, shake the head yes, shake the head no. And then from here, look between your hands, hop, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up and alongside your ears. From here, I want you to miss your hands like you're clapping and pull your arms back. Dip over to the right side of the room. So you're opening up through the left side of the body, and then come back up through center, release the hands, miss the clap on the other side, and take it to the left side of the room. So you're opening up through the right side of the body now. Come back up through center, release the hands, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, open your arms alongside your ears. So just like we were doing, I want you to miss the clap of your hand. I think it's better for on the, with the right leg forward that you have the left wrist in front of the right. And then pull your arms back. Send your left heel towards the back of the room as you sink your right knee right over that right ankle. So this is where I'm talking about the integrity of the belly. From here, I'm going to ask you to balance on your right leg. So we're going to do warrior three. So release the hands. You're going to come forward and send the weight right onto that right foot. As you do so, interlace your hands behind your back. Lift the interlaced hands away from the low back. Send your left heel towards the back of the room like you're standing on a wall. Drop your left outer hip down as you lift from the left inner thigh. Keep pulling the interlaced hands away from the low back. Draw your belly in. And then from here, release the hands and bring your left knee into your chest as you come up. Cross your left knee over your right, so you can stay right there, or perhaps double cross. From here, your left arm goes under your right. If you can't do this, which is very possible for a lot of us with tight shoulders, I want you to just hug onto your shoulders. Squeeze your thighs together and sink down. If you have the crossing of the elbows, lift the elbows up and draw the forearms away from the face. This is something I want you all to work towards, right here this crossing of the arms. And then from here, bring your knee back into your chest, release the hands, 
Send it back, warrior three. Again, stretching from the crown of the head to the back of that heel. And then drop back into your lunge, lift your arms alongside your ears. Spin your back heel down, warrior two, reaching from fingertip to fingertip. Relax your face, your jaw, your eyes. And then inhale, reverse warrior, dropping that left hand down that left leg, right arm reaches over the ear, opening up through your right side body. Exhale your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot forward. Inhale, lift your arms alongside your ears. So here, right wrist in front of the left. Miss the clapping of the hands, so the hands pull back. Open up through the chest, send your right heel towards the back of the room. Sink your left knee right over your left ankle, opening up right here. And then from here, start to draw your belly in. You're going to come forward onto that left leg. Take your arms alongside your body as you shift the weight. Interlace your hands behind your back. Lift the interlace the weight, hands away from the low back. Push your right foot towards the back of the room as you reach the crown of the head towards the front of the room. Keep the integrity of the belly. Draw it up and in. Beautiful. From here, release the hands. Bring your right knee into your chest. Cross your right knee over your left. Same thing here. If you can take your right arm under your left and press the palms together, do that. If not, just hug, hug yourself. Lift the arms up, draw the forearms away from the face, sink down, squeeze the thighs, and then inhale, bring your knee into your chest. Exhale, send it back, warrior three. As you do so, flex the foot, drop the right outer hip down, lift the right inner thigh. And then release back into your lunge, arms alongside your ears. From here, spin and open, warrior two, reaching from fingertip to fingertip. Relax the face, the jaw, the eyes. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back. And then exhale, take your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to a plank, drop your knees down. From here, I want you to take your right arm and thread it through. So you're just relaxing the side of the head to the ground. Some of you are going to feel, you know, a stretch here. If not, you can step your left foot into your right hand. If you want more of a stretch, you can take your left arm behind the back and roll open through that left shoulder. So that right, the left hand is on that right thigh as if you were putting it in a pocket. And then reach the hand back up, press back into the floor. Come back, we'll switch sides. You're gonna take your left arm, thread it through. You can stay right here, or again, you can step that right foot out. Perhaps you wanna take the right arm behind the back, reaching for that left thigh, open it up. Nice breathing here. And then come back, place the right hand down, press back up. And I know we're running a little bit over, but I would be really bummed out if I didn't show you this next move. So you're gonna come all the way down into your bellies. You're gonna bend your left knee. You're gonna take your left elbow to the right side of your mat. Then you're gonna take your chin and face it straight forward. So you're opening here in kind of an awkward way, right? But you're really gonna open that shoulder up. So, just breathing into it, and then come back up. So you're gonna take the right hand down, press up, put the left hand down, slide your foot back, bend your right knee over to the side. Take your right elbow to the left side of your mat, come down, and open it up. So just breathing there, letting the opening occur. And then you're going to take your left hand back underneath your shoulder, press up, right hand down, slide back. And there you have it. Shoulders are open a little bit over seven minutes, but I hope you enjoy. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching this segment of 7 Minutes with Seema. I look forward to our next one together. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel.